I think you probably caught a few people by surprise naming Reese Hodge at 10. Can you just take us through your thinking there? Yeah, like he's, uh, he's got a big kicking game. Um, you know, it, we know he can carry in that channel, he will defend well. Um, and he gives us a bit of experience on the field and, and those inside backs, um, you know, especially with a, a pretty young midfield pairing. So, um, yeah, obviously he's, uh, he's trained there a bit with us over the last couple of weeks. And, um, you know, we think Noah um, off the bench uh, will be good for him this week. And uh, he's learned a bit. He's, um, he's actually gone, he's gone really well training and, and um, expect him to respond off the bench. Do you um, do you plan to continue using Noah as a as a fullback in defence, or will you just let him defend in the front line? Um, he generally defended in the front line. It was just uh, uh, off a line out, so it was a uh, you know I guess there was a little bit of a breakdown around comms around that, but uh, predominantly he'll, he'll he would defend at ten. Thanks. Uh, Dave, I uh, just wonder if you could sort of uh, elaborate a little bit on some of the other selections. Uh, Tom Wright, uh, what has he done to impress you and earn his spot and uh, and the rationale uh, behind bringing Lockie in? Yeah, um, well, well, both those guys you've mentioned uh, trained really well over a number of weeks. Uh, both had big performances for Australia A last week um, against Argentina and and so deserve their spots. Um, obviously, Dane Hallett Petty took a knock last week and um, couldn't back up. Uh, he, he was a potential wing option for us, and um, you know, obviously, we felt uh, Filippo needs to treasure the ball a lot more, and uh, so he's uh, the consequence of that is him uh, being on the bench. So, uh, and then Lockie, um, yeah, he's got a real edge to his game, uh, which we've really liked. Um, we think he's got a really good understanding of his role and, and what we need out of him. And uh, but we, what we know with him, will be physical. We think that's important. Dave, given that um, given that Noah's been shifted back to the bench, did you think about um, giving him another opportunity, given that the Brunswick Cup is in New Zealand's hands again? Oh, absolutely. Uh, there's a lot of discussion around a number of spots and. Um, Often, um, you know, like I said he's learnt a lot from this. Uh, he's learnt to trust others around him, especially. Uh, there's some good communication for him to, to select other options, and um, he's got a really good skill set. But that, that probably wasn't sharp enough in the weekend. So, um, like I said, he's responded really well. Uh, yeah, and we and we did consider throwing him back in, but um, it's a very very young group um, outside of. Um, of Whitey, so um, we've plugged with um, Hodgie there. Was there, was there any thought of having Hodge at inside centre and, and, and keeping Noah there, um, even off the back of last week? Um, yeah, um, we wanted to reward Hunter. I uh, thought he's been really strong in the first two tests, gave us real impact off the bench again. Um, so yeah, we want to reward that. We think Geordie's he's just going to get better and better. Um, and we've, we've put a lot of acid on both those boys to communicate a lot more and uh, again they've responded well. It's, um, it's crucial that we've got guys feeding a lot of information in and um, so, but they've got a lot of uh, strengths, other strengths that uh, make them hard to leave out. Yeah. Um, after that big loss in uh, in Sydney, what, what have you been working on this week? What are you looking to improve on? Yeah, well, I guess the first thing we reminded the boys that it's test footy. Um, and so we're just way too loose uh, with ball in hand. And you know, as, as we've learned the last two tests, you can't keep handing the ball back to the All Blacks. And uh, we defended really well after half time for about 25, 30 minutes. Um, we'd defend well for five or six phases, win a penalty, get down there, turn it over immediately. And that cycle happened three or four times and eventually, you know, the All Blacks kicked a penalty and then they punished us on a turnover from a line out on the 70th minute. So, yeah, it's uh, about tough lessons, but but this is test footy and we've got to treasure the ball. I mean, are you confident that you can bounce back and actually uh, and, and win this one? Yeah, I am. Um, 
I know the All Blacks have made a lot of changes, but you know you look at that side and it's pretty impressive in it. So um, yeah, but look, we've prepared well. Um, we've uh, we've got to get better at um, citing opportunities to play and when to kick. Um, you know, we defended like I said well for for patches, but. Um, accuracy is a word that we've talked a lot about this week and, and we did last week as well. So, uh, you know, we need a response. Uh, last week wasn't good enough and um, and so we expect to see that on Saturday. Yeah, Dave, you've spoken about uh, wanting to give as many young guys a, uh, a start this series. How important was it to give a couple more youngsters a go against the All Blacks in this new four-year journey rather than having them to wait another year? Yeah, I mean, all our selections have been based on on how guys are travelling, so we want them to earn the right to play. And and as we've said, you know, like um, Angus Bell, um, he, he's gone really well at training. He's a he's a different type of cat. He's a really athletic, explosive athlete who's scrummed really well. So uh, that's the advantage of being in camp for the last five weeks. And uh, I've already mentioned about Lockie, and I've mentioned about Tom. So. And likewise are the guys who got a crack last week. So, you know, their job's to constantly put pressure on us for selection and through the way they train and, and how hard they're working. And um, so, you know, they've earned their spot.